Those stars, the gold stars, there's 4,000 stars, represents 100 people who were lost in the war. 400,000. A little over 400,000. So 4,000 stars, and, and each star represents 100 people who were lost in that war. Wow. Yeah. And your brother was one of them, right? Yeah. So one of those stars, who's in one of that star there? Yeah. His brother was, was, was doing a landing at Guam, and he was killed going to the first landing. Terrible. Hey, Brian. Yes, this was actually added after they created the memorial. There were so many GIs that went through here at the time and they said, you know, we need something that really reflects what was going on on the ground at that time. And the Kilroy was here, was added on both sides of the memorial. And yeah, right. It's kind of cute and somebody just carved it into the stone after they built the memorial. It wasn't part of the original plan. No. No. By Kilroy, what is... Well, they did, what they used that for is to let the other GIs know behind them that the, they those guys it. in front of them yeah. already taken over that town or whatever. So they used that as a marker to say, come on, boys, we're ahead of you. Yeah. 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 There weren't any Germans called Kilroy. Probably no Americans either. Yeah. <laughs> but but the, the name was quite famous. That was a sign that Americans had been there. Oh. The GIs had been there. Yeah. Had you heard about that when you were in, Ed? Yeah, I heard about it, but I didn't know in particular. Give it up for your drill team! Yeah. 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 Yeah.